about what happened with that fan. That foul ball. It's irrelevant. We lost. That didn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, just how, how is that man feeling? Because it kind of looked like, from our perspective, that your wrist kind of went a little bit back. No, I didn't even know he grabbed my hand, so no, it's perfectly fine. Was that about as aggressive as you've seen fans in all your time in the game? Uh, when it comes to the person in play, it doesn't matter. We lost. It's irrelevant. I'm fine. He's fine. Everything's cool. We just, the game. We, we lost the game, and that's that's what I'm kind of focused on. You got to turn the page and get ready for tomorrow. Um, nah, that don't sit right with me, Mookie. Let me tell you what I think. Can't say nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm uh, I think they know who we are. Huh? You think you know me? You know who we are? Lakers, we're looking at you, man. We're coming for these kids. Come on. Yeah. He's the leader of Lakers World Order, bringing you his opinion on all things sports. Angry Lakers fan. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to another installment of Angry Lakers Fan Media. I am your host, Angry Lakers Fan, a.k.a. the fourth dimension of sports opinion. Never nothing nice on your device, the highlight of your day. Y to A. Now, if you don't hear it in my voice, I am very, very upset. I am so goddamn angry, okay? I really am because it's not the loss to the Yankees in game four. That pisses me off, it's not, okay? It's the shit that was going on. And the thing I want to address personally, the thing I want to address is that dumbass fan who thought it was okay to just grab Mookie's hand and, and, and rip the baseball out his glove. If you if you look at the video clips and the and the pictures on your screen, you can see that that could have been a very dangerous situation. His his wrist could have snapped. His wrist could have been sprained. His wrist could have been hurt. Like that is assault. Yeah, y'all know that if Mookie Betts wanted to, him and his legal team can press charges against that fan. It's all on video. It's. It's on social media. The, 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 the pictures and the video clips, I got off of social media. I got off of everybody posting this shit, okay? If he wanted to pursue legal action, okay, which he has every right to, he could. And what's worse is that it's a lot of people out there that think if he does this, he's soft, he's a pussy, he's this, he's that, he's that. But put yourself in his shoes. What if you were out there playing a sport and you you just doing your job on the field or on the court or on the baseball diamond and a fan put you at risk of bodily harm? How would you take it? How would you take it? I know some of you'd be like, I'll just swing on him. I'll, I'll swing back. I'll punch him. But then that'd be assault on you. Y'all both would be in the wrong. Now, in my opinion, Mookie Betts had every right to knock this motherfucker out. Like, every right. And it, it, it wouldn't have been nothing he could do about it in the, at that point. He still would have been knocked out and thrown out, okay? But, luckily, he didn't do anything like that. And it shows that he was really, really in danger. The dude was damn near hanging from the fucking wall. If you look at it, he was damn near hanging from the goddamn wall, y'all. His wrist could have been fucked up. He probably he probably do got some pain in his wrist from that situation. Because if you can see it, he aggressively grabbed his hand, opened up the glove, and snatched that baseball out of it. They did the right thing of of um, of of escorting that dude and his party out of there. Like they did the right fucking thing. If they really want to push that, they need to ban him from Yankee Stadium. They need to ban him from Yankee Stadium. You know, it, it, you know, if you want to watch his Yankees, you can go see the Yankees when they travel. But yeah, man, I believe that Mookie Betts, should, uh, after this series is over, he should get together with his legal team 
and uh, think about pressing charges. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, I just wanted to get my thoughts out on this video. The Lakers and the Dodgers play tonight. Um, I will be going live again, so y'all can catch me on that. This has been Angry Lakers Fan, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one.